And a teenage girl is in the hospital, badly burned in a fire. Her mother and brother were also inside the home when it started. It happened this morning on Millbrook Court in Virginia Beach. They managed to make it out, and then the flames forced them to wait until firefighters could help. Ten of your sides, Anita Blanton, joins us now with more on what happened. Anita? And we've been on this story since we uh, had Wavy News 10 today. I went out to the neighborhood and saw what's left of the home. It's a total loss. We found out why this became a big issue today. But the focus since the firefight has been on the 18-year-old young woman in critical condition right now. Busted windows, charred brick, heaps of trash. It's what you'll now see here on Millbrook Court after an early morning fire that stunned a quiet neighborhood. This neighborhood is quiet, close-knit. I, I want to actually see what's going on because I want to try to meet another neighbor and see what's going if they need anything. There's still no official cause of the blaze, but firefighters know it started on the first floor and they had a life to save up the stairs. We got reports that the victim was on the second floor. Crews made entry to the rear of the structure through a upstairs window using ladders. The 18 year old girl was unconscious and badly burned and we asked why she may not have known there was a fire until too late. There were no smoke detectors on the first floor. The investigator did find a smoke detector on floor two. However, the, it does not appear that the smoke detector was working. It's a sight no one wants to see a message. Neighbors are taken to heart. It makes you think about a lot of things. I have smoke detectors in my house, but I don't know, maybe I need to uh, take other precautions. They're just hoping that the young woman rescued makes it through. And you really can't say enough for how important these smoke detectors are. The teenage girl who was rescued is at Centera Norfolk General Hospital. No word on how her mother and brother are doing tonight, but they were taken by private car to another hospital this morning. A firefighter also had to be taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. He was treated and released. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side. And one more note, there were two dogs in the house at the time of the fire. One of them did not make it. The other was given oxygen on the scene and survived.